Hello, I'm Vanya Gröger, also known as Nechta, and in this video I want to talk about something it's almost kind of a sick obsession of many drummers. It is called... wait... It is called Groove. I post a lot of videos of me playing fast. And sometimes on YouTube as well as on Facebook people comment and I think some people do not really get what I want to do with this kind of skill, with this playing fast. And some of them always complain about the lack of groove. For example, I posted a video of me playing blast beats at 310 BPM a while ago and again many people commented like, oh, there is no groove, where is the groove? What do you want with this? Uh, this just playing fast. This has no feeling, etc. And well, with this video, I want to try and explain why I do not think drums always need groove. First of all, drums are an instrument that can be used in a very wide variety of different genres. I mean, you play drums in jazz, fusion, rock pop, whatever, metal of course, and extreme metal, and each genre has a different focus and each genre requires different skills. Of course, in most genres I think that we can all agree that groove is very good when you play the drums. But there are exceptions of that. One of these exceptions is extreme metal. Of course, there are also parts of songs in extreme metal that may need groove, but especially when you go really fast, in some cases it just doesn't make sense to try to squeeze in any kind of groove, because that, was, that would completely ruin the atmosphere of the song and that would ruin the brutality of a song. Maybe you are not familiar with the genre of extreme metal, so let me take a completely different example, the piano. When you play, for example, boogie woogie or jazz or swing with a piano, then of course you need to play it very groovy. But now imagine a classical piece of music, like for example my personal favorite, The Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. When you listen to that song, do you miss the groove? Do you think it needs more groove? Of course not, that would be completely ridiculous. Instead, the Moonlight Sonata, especially the first part, expresses feelings that cannot really be expressed with groove, because it is very calm and very sad, and any kind of groove would, would ruin that atmosphere. And the same thing can be said about drumming in extreme metal. Of course, the emotions that you want to express in extreme metal are kind of different from the Moonlight Sonata in many cases, but in many cases you want to play really fast to create an atmosphere that is really intense, that is kind of brutal and often has a very kind of machine-like feeling, a very inhuman feeling. And to express that you do not need groove and I think groove would in many cases ruin this kind of feeling. I mean, the same can be said about other instruments in extreme metal, for example the guitar. When, when a guitar player decides to shred 16th notes at 250 BPM, it is not supposed to groove in any way, because he doesn't want people to dance to his music, but he wants to more express a feeling of kind of hitting people in the face. Um, yeah, and groove would be would ruin that. So nobody goes up to a guitar player and says to him something like, oh, why do you play so fast 16th notes? It, it, it doesn't sound groovy. It would be ridiculous because it is not meant to sound groovy. We can also talk about something that is completely off topic but the, has kind of the same principle. For example, when it comes to cars. I mean, if you buy, for example, a Lamborghini, you probably won't complain like, why is this car so loud? Why does it make so much noise? 
Of course not, because you want that car to make noise. And when you buy a Rolls Royce, for example, you won't complain, oh, the car is so quiet, why does it make no noise? I mean, uh, yeah, obviously you want the Rolls Royce to be very quiet. So with that being said, I want to em emphasize my point, blast beats do not need groove in extreme metal. And to prove my point, I want to give you now some song examples where you can blast beats that are played in a way that is very ungroovy and very static and it fits the songs perfectly and it would be it would sound wrong if the drummers would have tried to create some sort of groove in those blast beats. So let me start with the very old school stuff. For example, and to prove that this is not only a matter of playing very fast, but also when you play slow blast beats, there are some songs where you do not need to play this groovy. For example, listen to old Dark Throne stuff like whatever, Transylvanian Hunger. The blast beats are played very slow and very, very static. And it completely fits the music and the atmosphere. You don't need groove in that. You can also go a little bit faster and we can talk for example about the album In the Nightside Eclipse from Emperor. Also in the full album the blast beats are also played very static and still the album sounds amazing and is kind of perfect for what it is. And again the blast beats don't need groove and any groove wouldn't have made this album any better. One drummer who has kind of pushed this principle of playing blast beats without groove to the limit is also one of my favorite drummers, Frost, especially in his work with 1349. His blast beats sound absolutely brutal and act like crushing everything. And again, no groove needed here. I mean, listen to the albums, for example, Liberation or When This Is Too Lo-Fi for You, go on and listen to Hellfire or Demon Noir and you can hear how super brutal his blast beats sound and how static they are and how little groove, groove there is in those blast beats. And again, this, especially this lack of groove makes the music better, makes it sound more brutal. I have also one more example from I think a little bit more modern album well, it's still pretty old, but anyway. And it is played by a drummer who is actually known for playing very groovy normally, and that is Hellhammer. But in this particular song, he mainly plays really straight blast beats at an extremely high tempo, and again, any groove would be just unnecessary there. And that is the song Rape Humanity with Pride. And finally, you can also listen to a more modern band like Dark Funeral and there are songs like, for example, Nail Them to the Cross or As One We Shall Conquer. Those songs are, have extremely fast blast beats and again, I think there's just no room for any groove. When you can listen to any of those songs and kind of understand what kind of emotion is behind those songs and what kind of emotion emotions those songs try to express I think then you will realize that groove is a useful tool in many genres but is not a necessity especially not in extreme metal drumming so all in all I think it is important to realize that as a drummer you always like to focus on certain skills a lot depending on the genre for example, I, as an extreme metal drummer, I was al always very focused and still am very focused on playing perfect in time with a click and playing as precise as possible. And I remember when I learned that in other genres, especially in jazz for example, drummer are actually required to play laid back behind the beat or something like that. I first of all, I, I just couldn't understand why anyone would would like to play unprecise on purpose. So yeah, it's just a matter on of what you are used to and especially also a matter of what music you listen to. 
Of course, now I, I have begun to understand why this may be important in music to play not perfect on click, but it took some time. So if you are, for example, a jazz drummer, maybe try to be a little bit more open-minded and try to accept that not every genre needs your kind of groove and that different genres just have very different requirements when it comes to the drummer. So in the end, I think as a drummer, it is really important to appreciate the skills of other drummers. Also when they are from completely different genres. And even if you maybe don't really understand the music they play or if you don't understand what they are doing or why they are doing that. For example, I would never complain about a jazz drummer not playing fast double bass in jazz music because that would be just ridiculous. And I think for the very same reason it is a bit weird to complain about the lack of groove in 300 BPM blast beats. And with that being said, thank you and see you next time.